When fishing offshore in open water, we tend to look for alleyways or highways, if you will, that tend to funnel pelagic fish into a certain area. Sometimes these lines uh, or highways are clearly defined, uh, such as a weed line or the edge of the reef, and other times really it's uh, a mixing of two separate bodies and currents of water that create a phenomenon known as a color change. Basically what happens is that in the winter and the spring, uh, the high winds stir up the inshore waters of the Keys and then the falling tide pushes that uh, colder, uh, nutrient-rich, muddy water out to sea. Then here in the Keys we have another body of water called the Gulf Stream and that Gulf Stream pushes in close to the edge and those two separate bodies of water collide and form a seam that seem to concentrate debris, bait fish and predator fish that follow them. For fishermen out in the open ocean, you know, this color change presents a very easily identifiable place to put your baits. East wind. Big pelagic fish on the surface. How beautiful is that, huh? The take home message is that in open ocean, anything that represents a break from the sameness of the surrounding water is, is going to be a good place for a fisherman to spend his time. <laughs>